The nannies still congregate in Kensington Gardens. Come rain or shine, you'll find them in the flower walk with their sensible shoes and often pre-walk prams. Their charges still sporting velvet collars and names like Letitia and Melissa. But the change in the nursery is more real than apparent. Dorothy Walker, a nanny for 52 years, is thankful. I used to get up at 6 o'clock and take the nanny a cup of tea, the head nanny that I was under, and then I used to have to light the nursery fire and wash the floor all over the whole breakfast, which was cool. It used to be cool floors in those days. And then help to get the children dressed, and then sort of see about breakfast. It was a hard life. It was quite busy. How do you think things have changed, being a nanny today to the old days? Uh, well, it's more free. Nannies today are more free. There's more freedom. Um, they live more as family instead of separated, like they used to do. What, what sort of duties did you have in the old days? Well, the same sorts of duties, looking after the children, their washing. But, of course, there were no modern appliances as there are today. <laughs> washing by hand and no machine. <laughs> Um, and uh, nursery maids one had, and more help in the house. But the nanny's traditional skills, like smocking, are still taught at Norland. As part of their final assessment, the girls also have to make wooden toys, soft toys, and knitted garments. At cookery class, they prepare all the food for the children in the residential nursery. Each student has to spend six weeks looking after a baby day and night, keeping detailed notes of the baby's progress. Student Ruth Cackett sees a great future in being a nanny. Um, I think there are now many openings to combine working with children with being married as well. Um, there are lots of opportunities like working in the nursery school. Families take nannies nine to five now where the mother has her own career and is just out during the day. So I hope perhaps to combine a career and marriage. But growing numbers of women are finding that the only way they can combine career and family life is by taking on someone like Ruth. Changes in the law now oblige employers to keep jobs open for married women who've been away to have babies, and more and more single parents are deciding to keep their children. The demand for nannies is overwhelming, with five times as many jobs as there are nurses. But is this growing trend in the best interest of the children? I think it's in the best interest of the child to have some relationship with their parents. I don't think all women are necessarily cut out to be full-time mothers. And I think that as long as the mother is there with her child, when she wants to be with that child, uh, that is best for the child, rather than the reluctant mother, who would rather be you know, just doing some work or out somewhere. Celia Moss is a top management consultant, currently working out a strategy for a multinational corporation. It's a tough, demanding job that doesn't allow time to manage baby Michael, her five-month-old son. Thank you. Now, Celia, you're obviously a very busy person. How necessary was it for you to have a nanny? Well, it was vital. Um, it's the only way I can uh, do my job competently and give value to my employer, my clients, my colleagues, um, and, and conscientiously look after my baby. Was there any question of your giving up the job? To me, that would be like asking me to give up breathing. How big a say do you give your man? What do you expect of I expect to know a lot more than I do about the minutiae of, of looking after a baby, when it should go on to solid food and, um, and so on. Uh, I expect her to disagree with me on certain points if, if I say that such and such must be done. And I expect us to be able to discuss that and, and come, to a, come to a conclusion. All of this happens. Do you ever worry that uh, your baby Michael may get more attached to Nanny than to you? I accept that. Uh, it doesn't make me particularly happy, but I think that's, that's what you have to, to live with if, if you don't look after him all the time. Of course, you would have some people who would say, well, you know, why bother to have a baby anyway? What would you say about that? Well, I would say that the desire to have a baby is something quite separate from the desire to spend your life changing his nappies. Growing numbers of children are now spending their first five vital years of life in the hands of nannies. There's little doubt that the professional nanny is better trained and prepared for her role than the majority of mothers. 
But there's no guarantee that they're all the answer to Christopher Robin's prayer. God bless Daddy, I quite forgot. If I open my fingers a little bit more, I can see on his dressing gown on the door. It's a beautiful blue, but it hasn't a hood. Oh, God bless Nanny and make her good. A report from Laurie Mayer. Kent Police today appeal for any information regarding 19-year-old Russ Yates. He's been